to record. Listen and hold the camera. That would have been smooth, but now you dropped it. Yeah, that was good. Now we're good. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, Lord, have mercy. Alright, who's next? Me. Ten of each. I told you we would still be waiting for Rob. Niggas won't make the league. <clears throat> mm. But yeah, I'm coaching on his team. Or like part time ish. Set, go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Go. Go. Oh boy. Run. Run. What the heck is this man doing? Can't even. Record that. Record that. Record that. Record that. What? What are we. Get him, Coria. Do it for the haters. Nine, ten. Get a big shot. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. 
Head across the space. Wait, I'm gonna do the after move. Go! Oh yeah. Set. Go. One, two, three. Boy, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look up. <laughs> Boy. 12, 13, 28, 29, 30. Look up. Go. Go. Go, push. Corey, what time is it? Eagles want to make the league. With his head down. I know he's far away, but y'all gonna see when he gets here. What time is it, Corey? Yeah. <clears throat> we said 11 o'clock. I'll admit, I was here at 11.05. My shit's too hot. 12.05. 12.05, an hour and five minutes late. Now let's wait for this nigga's excuse. Let's go, let's run this rep real quick. And hold up, he ain't even hustling, look at that. Exactly, walking. Niggas wanna make the league, bruh. Ooh, that breeze feel good. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Go. Get out. Get out. What? You have no idea. I have no idea what happened. You have no idea, bro. You have no idea. You have no idea. Try it. You see them two siblings back there? Yep. Takes forever to fing get away. Forever. That's the old job to wake them up. No. Okay. I ain't got nothing to say. I don't want to make the league. I'm just out here for my boys, for my people. See that? Like, he won't understand. He don't understand, bro. He's afraid to give me shit. <laughs> I'm not giving you shit. I just asked for the excuse. You said I won't understand. I said try me. I've been up since nine. I had to get up early anyway. There are a been sleep. Why would I wake them up? Too. Nobody was home. Okay. You know what? Never mind. There's so many questions I have, but I'm gonna just be quiet. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. If you knew you had to be here at 11, why didn't you wake them up? Why would I wake them up? Help me, nigga. So you want me to wake a three-year-old and come out here? <laughs> it, you know what? I, I mean, unless you want to just leave them there. I mean, if that was the other okay. plan. What are you talking about? Like, you don't make any sense, Rob. <laughs> You see what I got to deal with. The overkill, am I correct? That's not the point I'm getting. You said, so why I'm would I wake is, him up? I said, nigga. No. So, I mean, if that's the only way you can come here is to bring him, no, but what why I'm wouldn't saying, you wake him up? No, what I'm that's saying That's your fault. We no, gotta say for you. I ain't got nothing. Dude, niggas money. Niggas know what you have to do to get here at 11. Why don't you do First of all, I've told you, I've been ready. Them two mother stay up till 3 o'clock in the morning. So they just woke up at 11. Hey, my damn so Everything so ready. So if you were up at 9 and you knew this shit at 9. And they woke up at 11. No, you're right. It's not your fault. It's three nine year olds fault, right? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't that right, DJ? Should I stop the recording, sir? No, we need to keep it out for the Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm a comment right <laughs> under. <laughs> Music. I'll do it twice. I'll do it twice. Matter of fact, I'll do all three. I believe you. I believe you. Come on, Jimmy. Push. Go. Push. Go. Are you taking your morning jog, son? Pick it up. Shameful. You drew it so low. I know, that was, that was out, get out, get out. So you're gonna go, grab the bag and you're gonna walk there and sprint back. The next person 
is going to sprint and walk back with the bag. And then it's going to be a repeat of that process. I bet. A few moments later. Alright, so we're going to do the 100 yard sprint still. We're going to have a bag, 25 squats. So y'all, this was recorded the same day that we were hit with the news of X's passing. For those of you that don't know or don't really listen to him, I don't know how you don't, but X is, uh, he was a rapper. He was around the same age as me, which is why it's kind of weird. Um, and it just goes to show that, bro, you can be here one day and you can go on the next, you can be on top of the world, and the next day you could be gone. So... Um, I don't get a lot of, I don't get real preachy on this channel, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about, um, the effects of all this, um, sorry, I didn't plan this out, I just kind of turned the camera on, I was editing too, so I was editing all day, that's why I got me just a wife beater on, but, yeah, um, it just goes to show that this glorification of violence in mainstream hip-hop is... It's, it's not cool, bro. Um, I'm not saying that I was the biggest fan of X, and I'm not here to f be fake and say that I was. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't appreciate. I didn't like him because of the stuff that he glorified, which was the violence and stuff in his music. But the reason I respected him a lot is one that he was my age and to do was grinding. He was balling, um, and that he genuinely loved his fans which is one thing I took from him for my appreciation for y'all, especially the new people welcome over. Um, but yeah, it just shows that glorification of what that, that it kind of like brings like a positive light to violence, especially with like um, a lot of kids nowadays, you guys think it's cool to act. It's cool, You think it's cool, you want to be from the hood. You think it's cool, you want to be part of that that lifestyle that a lot of you aren't even accustomed to, that you shouldn't be in. And if you ask anybody that's from that situation, they'll tell you that they're glad that they're not in it no more. They don't want to go back. But people that aren't in it, 
they want to be in it and just, I don't know, act cool, I guess. Yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about the glorification of it, and that stuff's not cool, yo. Um, we lost somebody big. A lot of y'all are fans of him, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's just, it's sad, man. And it's crazy how he's my age, too, so just, like, if I was gone. So, just something to put in perspective. All this glorification nonsense, bro. Chill out with that. Appreciate who you have. Appreciate all the finer things in life. Appreciate one another. Um, yeah, and also to talk about this, like, I don't know. A lot of people, it's been bugging me. And it, it's not just X, but when somebody passes, especially on YouTube, you get people that put on, you get people, um, especially on YouTube, you get people that use somebody's name that passes as kind of a meal ticket, like a little clickbait to get something. Like for me, like I'm not putting this in any tags. I'm not putting this in any of the, um, I'm not putting this in the title. So like, I don't know. It's just sad, man. We live in a lot and we live in a day and age where death isn't taken as seriously as it is before. Like, honestly, like you have his, his dead body, on, you have his corpse on YouTube, like res show some respect. And then certain people I talked to about it, they act, they said they didn't care. It's like, bro, I get that if you weren't a fan of him, like from a music standpoint, I would understand because I didn't really like his music. I mean, I liked a couple songs, but I'm not the biggest fan of him. So I didn't really, I mean, from a music standpoint, it's, what, it's whatever. But as a human being, as a young man, like show some respect. The dude had a family. I know the dude had a brother. I know he had parents that he wasn't too tight with, but still, he had friends and family that loved him. He had millions of fans that appreciate him. So when you come up and say, I don't know, some stupid shit on, oh, I didn't really care that he died, like, bro, just show some respect. Because at the end of the day, I'm not saying, like, God forbid something happens to you, but it's just not cool, man. So I think we need to rethink as a society. And I'm on here today because I got more. So I got a following now and I just want to talk to y'all and get my little two piece in. I don't know. Take it or leave it. Um, y'all have a blessed day. Tell your friends and family you love them. Be nice to one another. And all that. All that violence and shit. That's just not cool. If you ain't from it, you don't want to be in it. All the drugs and all that bad shit, bro. It's, it's not cool. Promise you. I promise you. It's not cool. Trust me. But that's all I got to say.